guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with November favourites. Um, I always forget that November is such a short month and I think there is about 11 or 12 people in my family that have their birthdays in, in November, including myself. So it's just like a, a grilling the whole way through, just trying to get through all the birthdays. And then we obviously hit Christmas, which is just as a crazy time. I only wore five polishes. There's a ton of swatching for videos and things this month and with posting those and swatching everything for those um, I actually only wore five other nail polishes which is probably one of the lowest months we've had in a long time. So this video won't be very long but uh, we might as well just hop straight in with mainstreams. We have two mainstreams. The first one is Essie's Sweater Weather and this came out in their autumn collection this year which I really enjoyed as a whole. Although I did think that it was very bronzy, nudey, heavy. They obviously had the yellow and the green, which were just standouts. Um, I know people have seen, I've seen people saying that sweater weather reminds me of, reminds them of Swamp Thing by 90, where you are getting this lovely kind of like, even like an ugly, pretty like olive base with a lighter flash. It's a beautiful cream formula, applies in two coats, just stunning and really perfect for the autumn time. So if you can pick this up, I would definitely recommend it. Like I say, one of the highlights from that collection. Two coats, sweater weather, Essie. I then have one from OPI, and this is from the Peru collection. And this is called Alpaca My Bags. Good pun, again. Um, and this one is a, a little bit of a disappointment to me. This is a greyish toned blue, a very, very light, like dusky grey toned blue. I'm... Um, You'll see coming up for next month that I've started off the month of December wearing more purpley blue toned blues. So I don't know, I didn't mind this one. It had a nice two coat of formula, but it's just not one of my favorites. Um, and I think this, there was a similar one that came out in the Iceland collection, which but that had a shimmer in it, which I just prefer. Um, so it's okay, it's fine. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would de-stash it immediately, but it's just not one of my favorites. So that one was two coats of Alpaca My Bags by OPI. We then have three indies. The first one was my Halloween manicure that I wore for the for literally end of October, start of November. And this is Zero by Pampered Polishes. Zero, I believe, is the dog in A Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, and this is a white curly base with orange and black glitters in here. So it is a perfect, great um, white base Halloween Crelly takes three coats to build up to be completely opaque and just your quintessential Halloween polish. Everyone needs to have a good, a few good Halloween polishes in their arsenal because they're a must. Um, so that was three coats of Zero by Pampered Polishes. And of course, with always, indie sellers will be linked down below along with the full list of the brands in case you misunderstand or I speak too quickly or anything. They'll all be typed out down below for you. We then have a Rogue Lacquers Okami, and this is based off of a beast from Fantastic Beasts, and this is their Hella Handmade Creations exclusive series that they're doing at the moment. And this is beautiful. It's a multi-chrome um, where you're mainly in the kind of like a purple base, but then it does oil slick round. And then there is also some tiny um, little flakes in there. They are like kind of like Heck, little tiny hexy flakes and then there's also some more sharded kind of ones. Um, this did take three coats to be completely opaque and it's just super shifty um, and like blue and deep and mysterious and then you have a little bit of the hollow in there. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed that one but that was three coats of Okami by Rogue Lacquer. And wrapping us up and this one is Lollipop Posse and this one is Ridiculous and this came out in the Caster Spell um, box that they there's a few brands that do that every year for Harry Potter um, and this got the most amount of likes in a long time on Instagram I've said a few times that Instagram's kind of dead in a way to me it doesn't really I still enjoy it and I still really like posting it and I'm liking on there a lot but I personally am hidden on Instagram people don't see my photos I don't get a lot of likes and but then in saying that for some reason everybody saw this and I don't blame them it's a stunning one for I'm not surprised this popped up on people's feeds but Instagram's just a whole other kettle of fish. And it is a bluish base, and then you have a strong pink shimmer in there, plus loads of duo chrome flakies, and the flakies are quite large. So it's a two or three coater. Two coats will get you a nice opacity, and where it is so shifty and multi-chrome and there is flakes, you possibly can see a little bit of your nail line if you look really close, but on the whole, um, you probably can get away with two, or you can wear three just to completely even that all out. And it will rem remove nice and easily because these are just just flakies in here. Um, so yeah, that was probably the big hitter for the month and that is Ridiculous by Lollipop Posse Polish. And that is it. That is everything that I wore in the month of November. Like I say, it was a big swatch month um, and I'm, a bit of a still, I'm on a bit of a low for filming still. 
I'm going to be increasing a little bit this month. There's going to be a couple of weeks where there's two videos. It's just the adjustment of getting back into work. And I went back to work in November. So I will be doing a life update video because I tend to do them every six months. And I think it's been six or seven months since we did one. Although you have seen Andy periodically. So you're getting updates, I guess, when you see her. Not joining us today. She is in bed. Um, but anyway, I hope your November has been good. And you're all looking forward to the Christmas. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving to those out there that celebrate that. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what your November favourite favorites were and I'll be seeing you soon.